oh, let's say you roll over in bed at night, in the middle of the morning, maybe one or two in the morning, all of a sudden the room starts spinning, intense spinning. You know what this feels like because you've had this before. What if there was a very fast and easy way to fix this? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Hey, it's me, Andy B, the Dizzy Busy PT, speaking out for all of those who are way too busy to be dizzy so that we can take your vertigo to vertigon. Before we start this video, I want to say that the intention of this video is primarily for my patients who I've told that they can do this approach. But if you have had frequently recurring BPPV or you know you have BPPV, you've been told you have it, this is an option that you could talk about with your healthcare provider that could potentially fix this way faster with the least amount of distress possible. Okay, so here it is. You roll over in bed in the middle of the night, you're spinning. You may or may not have a loved one with you. You tend to get very nauseated. Um, you might get hot. There's a good chance you could throw up. So there are a few things that you would start with. First, you don't move. You've rolled over in bed. You've had this before. For the anxious personalities, you don't have to be so concerned. You've had this before. You know what you've gone through. So you kind of do some self-talk relax take some deep breaths and to address the nausea there are a few options one thing i always tell my patients have a dizzy kit beside the bed so so far you've just rolled over the room spun you know your bppv is back if you have a dizzy kit the dizzy kit could have like nausea medication for instance you could ask if zofran or ondansetron might be helpful for you lots of people do anavertermeclizine I like on Dancitron Zofran, it helps nausea more. You'd have a, a water bottle just for this case, okay? You're nauseated, you'd pop a Zofran and you would just wait here for an hour and let the Zofran kick in if you knew you were gonna throw up if you tried to fix this right away. Um, then, if you don't have Zofran, you don't have any medications and you wanna try a more natural approach, you have your loved one crack the window and turn a fan on get your body temperature down. Um, you could have maybe some peppermint oil, like diffuse some peppermint oil or peppermint nearby and let your nausea come down, okay? So those are just kind of the pre things. You know you've had BPPV in the past, you know you get nauseated, you know you could throw up if you try to fix this. So far, you've only rolled over in bed, you spun out, your eyes are slamming hard, you know it's there. Here's a simple way to fix it, especially if your healthcare providers have told you you could try this, okay? What you do, if I've rolled over on my left side and I'm spinning hard, I know the problem is probably in my left ear, probably my posterior canal, maybe my lateral canal. Either way, this approach might help. You pull the pillow out, your head drops down, okay? You got your pillow here. And I know this is hard for some people and some people can't do all this, but for the people who can do this, this is good. I'm getting the other pillows on the bed. I'm throwing them away, throwing them off the bed. Take this pillow. I'm going to put it right behind my back, not under my head. Okay. So I'm laying there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm spinning. Oh, I don't want to get sick, but I've tried to do the not anti-nausea things. I'm ready to try to see if I can fix this super fast. So I'm just going to lay here. I'm going to keep my head down on the bed. Okay. I want to keep my head back. If I don't, I can convert the calcium crystals into the wrong tube. Then I'm going to carefully lower myself down and I know what's about to happen. Take this and I'm going to roll over, okay? I'm rolling onto the pillow. My head is staying down and I'm stopping here, all right? Now in this position, I'm gonna go ahead and try to scoot so I'm a little more comfortable. But the key with that movement was I didn't lift my head. I kept my head down on the bed. I tried to get my shoulders up so that my head would be tilted down. That's the position that we know makes a difference to try to fix these things, okay? So I'm holding it here. I spin again. No reason to panic. Hopefully what that means is the calcium crystals are moving through the tubes the way they're supposed to, okay? I wait 20 to 30 seconds after the spinning stops, okay? Then I simply go like this. 
turn my head down toward the floor. Now I like my nose perpendicular to the floor. I wait there 20 to 30 seconds, okay, after the dizziness goes away. And now I'm scooting out to the edge of the bed, keeping my nose down. Then I'm letting my feet down over the side of the bed, tucking my chin down like this. I like to take the head down like this. And then I'm slowly sitting up tall and slowly lifting my head, okay? That is a fast and potentially very easy way to try to fix frequently recurring BPPV uh, with the least amount of distress. Now, when you sit up, there is very rarely something we call a Tumarkin's crisis or an otolith crisis, where you sit up and all of a sudden, bam, you get thrown back onto the bed. Happens maybe two out of 100 to 200 times. If it happens, you just let yourself go down don't panic, let everything calm down, okay? Now, a few other practical things to think about. If you've gotta sit up out of bed anyway, you roll over in bed, you're spinning, you know what this, you know what it is, you've had this before, why not go ahead and try to fix it right in that moment? That's why I would do the Epley maneuver in this manner. The position or the movement that I left out was sitting up and then laying down. Now we know that movement is helpful to get those pieces to move where we need them to go, but we also think that there is a population of people that don't necessarily have to do that maneuver. So you could try to go ahead and do it this way. What are the good things that could happen from this approach? One is you could fix your problem like that, okay? I have so many patients who uh, they have a wedding that day, their kids are getting married, there's a Christmas party or a, ho a holiday party, they are just too busy to be dizzy. And so this is a quick, fast way that maybe could help them get relief. That would be the pro, the benefit of, of doing this. A con, like what are some bad things that could happen from this? Well, probably the worst thing that could happen that I could think of would be what's called a canal conversion where you move the pieces from the posterior canal into the lateral canal. Now, if that happens, you could spin more, you could spin longer, you could be more nauseated. But canal conversions happen. Uh, we fix that by doing like a barbecue roll or a Gufoni maneuver. Um, there are different tricks, but, but that probably won't happen but it could. So I just want you to know that that's something to talk about with your healthcare provider. Um, other things that could happen would be nausea, vomiting. Even if you did the anti-nausea, anti-vomiting stuff, you could still get nauseated, you could still throw up. But let's stop and think about this. What did I just do that was too different than what you would normally do getting out of bed anyway when you first roll over at night and find out that you have BPPV? Most people get out of bed, a lot of them panic, they jerk around, they move, they make themselves sick because they're moving their head so much and they're terrified. So my point is, why not try to get out of bed in a strategic manner that might fix your BPPV instead of having to put up with it for the rest of the day or week or however long it's going to be. Um, so I hope this video helps. If you like the video, what I ask is that you would subscribe, hit that like button, uh, because I'd like to build a community here that helps other people who have dizziness. And what I'd really love to know is, have you ever tried this approach and did it work? If it worked, let us know in the comments. If you haven't tried it but are going to try it the next time your BPPV returns, keep us updated, keep us informed. Let us know the pros and the cons of doing this. What have you learned in your journey? So. Come along with us on this uh, journey to get over vertigo, to get over dizziness, and to battle it as good as possible so that we can be the best we can be. And uh, we hope that after you've heard these videos, you can go and spin no more.